you happy? Then do what you want to do, bro. I'm a 22-year-old loser, but I'm a happy loser, bro. You can be a happy loser. To the eyes of everybody else, you're a loser. But to me, you're winning, bro. Hope y'all can hear me good. Um, I know y'all like, you know you use your setup. No, I'm not. I'm in my backyard right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful day, bro. A little too beautiful for November, but fuck it, bro. They, 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 let them do what they do. Let the weather do what they do. But I want to talk, bro. Just want to talk about some stuff. Um, mainly about life, man. You know, I haven't had the best life. Even as a child, I always felt like a loner a loser i just felt like i was a burden to everybody i came across and you know i'm finally at the age of 22 i'm fine well my last few months of being 22 i turned 23 in november no no what bro i'm just yapping right now i turned 22 in february bro i'm just bro I'm like my head is so full with filled with stuff i want to talk about that i'm trying to spill out things all at one time but that's why I wrote down some things because my brain is very dysfunctional, discombobulated. I say things I don't mean and I end up fucking up shit. That's what happens. But bro, all out here, bro. bro damn, I'm turning shit off. As soon as I stop recording, they get mad out here, bro. What the fuck? The goddamn neighbors, bro. The fuck? I hate having black neighbor. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A little bit. But my first thing I want to talk about is if you're on a journey, if you're on a sun. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that sun. Look at that sun. <laughs> See? I'm getting off topic. If you on a specific journey, hold on. Is that you can't give up on your journey because you can't give up. Because your journey isn't over, bro. Your journey isn't over, you see. It's so much that we have to live for, bro. I am 22 years old. For some reason, I think I got to have my life all together right now. But that's not, that's not, like, I have to have my life together right now. And that's not even the case, bro. Like, I'm only 22 years old, and I'm acting like I got to be married with six kids in a nice job and have my kids a fucking college fund by now, bro. That's how society makes it looks like. It makes it seems like, bro. And they make us make us feel like we got to have this and this and this at a certain age, bro. We're 22 years old. <laughs> 20, we're in our 20s right now, bro. We're supposed to be out here having fun. Bro, it's, people my age are getting married. They graduated college. They're getting their big boy and big girl jobs. And then there's me, bro. <laughs> and then there's people like us, bro. Because I'm sure if you're watching this, you're in the same situation. It's people like us, bro. But right, he go to the airplane, bro. I love the nature, but it's so loud. As soon as you try to do something, it gets louder, bro. But it's so much that we have to look forward to, bro. Like, we're only, like I said, we're still kind of just not getting out of high school. I've been in high school for like four or five years, four or five years or something like that. And I feel like I got to have it all together. I dropped out of college. It wasn't for me. I hated it. Um, I work a good job. Well, I got a good job working at Amazon. Kind of a decent job for my age, bro. But people my age are getting married. Them niggas, some niggas are already on their third child. Bro, I'm like, bro, slow down, bro. By the time I start getting kids... Who they gonna have to play with, bro? Y'all niggas, my, yo, yo, kids gonna be teenagers, and my still gonna be a toddler, bro. <laughs> like, calm down, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. Half the these the people that's getting married, bro, <laughs> do not need to be getting married because y'all are toxic. Y'all been toxic since high school, and y'all are even more toxic now. Y'all should not be getting married. But you know, some people use marriage to cover up. You know, you know, bro. They try to make it seem like they got a perfect relationship, but the whole time they don't. Don't believe nothing on the internet, bro. Do not. Bro, what am I talking about, bro? What am I talking about? I'm just yapping, bro. I'm yapping, okay? Just just go along with it. I got notes down, but it's whatever. Oh, here's my other topic, bro. I've lost everyone I was ever close with. Bro, 
I've lost everybody I was ever close with, bro. And at the time, I was sad. But now I'm just like, bro, I'm living my life. I'm doing what I want to do. And I'm very, very happy, bro. I, you know, I never got the chance to ever say that. Like, being alone actually makes you look at things in a whole different perspective. It makes you look at life differently. It makes you look at people differently. And, like, I have, okay, I have friends. But, like, I, like, basically distant myself from them. I very much distanced myself from them, pushed myself back. And, like, since then, I haven't got one text from anybody, bro. So, like, nobody texted me, nobody called me. Nobody checks up on me, bro, except, like, one person. I got one person that, that I talk to every single day. Yeah, I got one person I talk to every single day. She's amazing, bro. She's literally the best. But, like, she's, like, my best friend type shit. But, um, yeah, she's a great person, bro. Um, and that's all I need. I mean, she live in a whole other state, but I'm happier than I ever could be. <laughs> like, people look at me, oh, you so alone. You don't got no friends. You don't got no no girlfriend, no blah, blah, blah. No, I ain't got none of that. I'm just living my life, man. Like I said, um, I'm happy with where I'm at. You know, my life is progressing. My YouTube is progressing. In, in my eyes, my YouTube is progressing very well. My gaming channel's up. I'm being more consistent with that. I'm happy. You know, society makes you think you got to have college. You got to have uh, college and, blah, blah, and things of that nature to be successful, to be the person you want to be, bro. If college isn't for you, then college just isn't for you, bro. Like... College just, if college isn't for you, it just isn't for you, bro. College is not for everybody. And it wasn't for me. People people still to this day ask me, do you go to, do you go to school? I say, fuck no. Do the guy can go to school? Being in school for 12 years, I feel like that was a waste of my freaking time. Like, it might not, might not be the same for you. That was a waste of my time. It might not be the same for you, so don't just go off based off what I said. Um, Life is different for everybody. And for me, college just wasn't, that's a watch for this. College just wasn't for me, bro. I knew I didn't want to do it from the get-go. I only went because my parents wanted me to go. Because my friends wanted me to go. My, my girlfriend at the time wanted me to go. I never, now that I think about it, I never did anything that I actually wanted to do. I always just followed along with things. Why? I don't know. Like, and now I'm finally doing it. I'm doing things that I actually want to do. And I'm happy about it, bro. As long as you're happy, that's basically that's what I'm saying. If you're happy, then do what you want to do, bro. I'm a 22-year-old loser, but I'm a happy loser, bro. You can be a happy loser. To the eyes of everybody else, you're a loser. But to me, you're winning, bro. I'm finally starting to grind. I'm finally starting to do everything that I've been trying to accomplish for for freaking years, bro. I'm like, I'm happy, man. I might I might still live with my parents, bro. But I actually just moved back in with my parents not that long ago. I just moved back in with my parents like a couple months ago. Um, I got a job, bro. I mean, I'm happy, bro. <laughs> Niggas think I gotta be in college, bro. I don't know what's up with the college. Why y'all keep throwing around, throwing around the word college, bro? The college isn't for everybody, y'all. The people that's telling me to go to college they didn't even go to college. <laughs> they barely even graduated high school, bro. And they trying to tell me to go to college. This is like I don't get it. I'm talking about the adults, bro. The adults. Y'all didn't even finish high school. Y'all trying to push me to go to college. Nigga, I don't want to go to college. Fuck college. In my opinion, not... Like I said, it's not for everybody, bro. It's not for everybody. Like, I didn't want to make this a sad video, but I'm just talking to y'all because a lot of people, like I said, are lost, feel like they're being pushed, like, feel like they're being... What's that word? What's the, what's the saying? They feel like they're being held back. Like, you see everybody else progressing and you're just doing the bare minimum if you feel like you're doing the bare minimum promise me promise i promise you you're probably doing better than the next person bro that person that's like you see as more successful than you guarantee you're probably 10 times happier than that person will ever be bro that's just facts bro somebody that's in college they got their big boy big girl jobs guarantee you you're probably more happier than that person <laughs> it is so crazy about life bro like I'm not gonna say about all the college students, but well, Georgia, it's a bug right by my phone, bro. I hope again the camera is actually very pretty, but it needs to move because I think it's just the one that stings. But yeah, I lost. But yo, yeah, I forgot what I was even talking about, bro. I'm about to go to a more sensitive topic. Um, 
like having no friends. Like when I first started to like figure out that I'm basically alone, bro. I don't have nobody on my side. Um. I had very much suicide tendencies, bro. I was like, bro, I'm gonna be like this forever. Nobody, I'm gonna have no friends. I'm not gonna have no girlfriend. I'm not gonna have this. I'm not gonna have that. That's not the case, bro. I'm still alone. But now I figured out that eventually you're gonna find your your what's it called? Your I'm not I'm not group. I'm just say group because I can't figure out the word. You're gonna find your click. Yeah, you're gonna find your click. You're gonna find the people that you connect with better, bro. This is just your stepping stool. This is your step before you get to the biggest step of your life. Ooh, I killed that all shit. Hey, 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 I killed that guy. All right, bro. Well, yeah, this is like that big stepping stool, bro. Like, you feeling so down. You feeling like nobody's on your side, bro. This is just that stepping stool, bro. This the next, the next step is going to change your life for the freaking better. And it's going to change your life forever, bro. Like I said, bro, we're only 22. We're only 20 to like 25 years old, bro. Everything is not going to be in place right now. We're young. We're supposed to make mistakes. We're supposed to do stupid things. We're supposed to do things that makes our parents question why they birthed us. <laughs> You're supposed to do things like that, bro. That's, uh, that's life. That's a part of being in your 20s, bro. Make mistakes, bro. Spend that money. All right? I know people say save. Bro. Save if you want to save. But spend if you want to spend, bro. Your life is not promised tomorrow. You're going to wish you got that that manga and you never bought that manga you're like you're gonna be dead and be like oh, man i should have got that i should have read that manga before i died bro see <laughs> that's how i look at life bro because in reality nothing freaking matters nothing nothing matters bro and that's just my opinion nothing matters things matter but nothing matters if you actually think about it bro you actually think about it nothing actually matters i grew up not having that many friends i didn't have no friends actually growing up i didn't have my first real close friend until i was in high school that's sad, I know, right? I was in ninth grade and I found my best friend. I'm not gonna say no names, but he was my first real authentic friend, bro. That's actually kind of sad. I went that long without having any friends, bro. I was getting bullied so bad to the point I switched. School. We switched schools like three or four times. We had to switch schools like three or four times because I was getting bullied that bad, bro. And my home life, my home life was good for the most part. No, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't good. It was terrible. <laughs> Mainly because I don't want to put the business out there, but I'm just gonna say the decisions adults make are not the best decisions, bro. The people they bring around you is not the best people, bro. And when my granny passed away, when I was uh, 11, I was 11 years old when my granny passed away, that's when I first experienced the thought of suicide. I was like, bro, what am I here? Like, my granny's gone. And you know, your granny is like the biggest, like, she's like the main person in your family. She keeps everybody together. And after that, the family just separated. I started seeing my family for who they really were and things of that nature. And when my granny passed, I, that's when I first had my thought of suicide, bro. I've been wanting to, like, I finally knew what depression was. I've been depressed basically my whole entire life. Damn, that kind of damn, bro. Um, yeah, I've been, yeah, basically my whole life I've been depressed. Um, cause I first, when I first tried, I tried to take my life four times. I'm, uh, this is a real authentic, raw video. Y'all, I want y'all to know, every, like, I don't want to be happy every time y'all see me. Y'all gotta know the real me, you know? You gotta know the real, true meaning of me, bro. Hold on. I had to move it. <clears throat> Too many bugs. But let me see. Make sure y'all see me. Ignore the tires and stuff, bro. Like I said, it's a backyard. Um. Yeah, I tried to take my life out four times. The last time I tried to do it was very, very recently. It was actually May of this year. Um. Yeah. Um. It was May of this year. I'm not gonna get too much deep into it. But it, a life eventually gets better, all right? I know y'all don't want to hear that, <laughs> but life does eventually get better. It takes time. It takes a long time. It's like the things you want to get better takes forever, and the bad things come so fast. I don't understand life. I don't understand life at all. Look at the greenery. 
Don't you just love life? I know I do. I love my life, even though it's it's kind of in shambles. I know y'all can't see me right now. Hold on. Remember his hands. Buzz back here. I'm gonna have to hurry up and wrap this video, bro. I'm not dating one when they try to be, but sheesh. It's hard to do that when there's so many bugs. Look, it's a little. Oh. Okay, y'all see that? It's a ladybug. It's a ladybug, guys. Oh my god. My shirt gonna be fixed with bugs. But I'm sorry, I gotta let you go, bro. I'm not gonna kill you, but you gotta leave. I got wings, bro. Yeah, I thought I took my life out four separate times. Ugh, obviously, came out unsuccessful. <laughs> L, L suicider. <laughs> well, that's not funny. <laughs> I can make the jokes. I can make the jokes. So don't you, if you sit still, just don't watch the rest of the video, bro. bro I did, I've been on this earth for 22 years. And I try to take my life four times, bro. Like, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but <laughs> shouldn't that tell you something? That everybody has a freaking purpose on life? Everybody has a purpose. It, it It's just, you got to find it. And the main part about finding it is... I don't know. I'm still trying to find mine. I feel like mine is has something to do with YouTube. I feel like, in a way, I'm supposed to change the youth, help the youth, and the youth and teens, bro. Kids that feel like they don't have a purpose in life. Kids that feel like they're alone in this world. I promise you, I'm here to tell you that you're not, bro. You just gotta find the right people that's around. If you got somebody, if you got friends, bro, and none of them niggas check up on you, or none of them niggas come to you and see if you good well you don't need them type of people in your life all right i'm just tell you that right now bro because i started off in high school hella friends i had a lot of friends pretty good amount of friends can y'all see me i had a pretty good amount of friends bro. a lot of friends i'll say but now here i am 22 years old i got nobody and I'm okay with it. You need to be alone to figure out who you are. You hear me? You probably like, my parents told me the same thing. It's true, bro. Sometimes the parents are right. Sometimes. Sometimes. But you got to be alone to figure out your purpose. You got to be alone to figure out who you really are, bro. And that's what I had to do. I figured out who I am. And now, what am I? I'm still a 22-year-old 22 year old happy loser, bro. A good look at like that. <laughs> but yeah, bro. I've always been insecure about myself. But I'm finally starting to feel a little better about myself. But I do, I still feel very insecure, bro. Very, very insecure. I look at myself in my videos that I edit for YouTube. And I just be like, why you make that face? Why you look like that, bro? I hate the way your face look. Like, I just be like, I talk to myself real bad. I try, I'm still learning to stop doing that. But be a happy, happy loser, bro. If you're going to be a loser, at least be a happy loser. This is basically what the video is about, bro. I know you probably like, you jumped like five different topics. You went from suicide, you went from being alone, you went from college, you went from parenting. I'm, I'm just a rambler. I'm a certified yapper. I'm probably ranked one in, in yapping, to be honest. Um, I just hope this video finds the right people, bro. And if y'all, bro, if y'all need somebody to talk to, bro, I'm not that, I'm not that big of a, I'm not an influencer or anything, but I really, I can give some good advice, bro. If y'all need to talk to me, hit on my Instagram, or it's somewhere on the screen, see it up there or down there, bro. Follow me on Instagram, I'll talk to you, bro. You're not alone in nothing. Like, you're not alone, bro. I'll talk to you about anything. You need anything to talk about, bro. If you go back to a recent video, bro, somebody DM'd me, asked me for relationship advice. People DM, a couple people be DMing me, bro. I mean, like, cause when I stream, when I stream, I um tell people at the end of my streams, if you need somebody to talk to, yada, 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 hit me up. People hit me up. They want to hit me up. My Instagram is on the screen, bro. I'm one DM away. I'm not that big of an influencer right now. I got like 1,000, 1,755 subscribers on YouTube. Yo, it's Editing Rage here. I just wanted to say, if I do ever become a big influencer, I will indeed still answer DMs from everybody, bro. 
let's hope I ever become a big fool. So I know I'm gonna become a big fool because I'm that monkey. Thousand seven hundred fifty five. That's a lot of people to me. Very appreciative. I'm very appreciative of whoever subscribes to me, whoever follows me. Bro, I love every single one of y'all. I don't care if you're young, old, fat, skinny, tall, gay, straight, trans, bro. I don't care who you are. Old, nigga. I don't care. You be nice to me, I be nice to you. Respect me, I respect you, bro. That's how I go. And like, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you did in your past life. I don't care. I said past life like you died and came back. <laughs> I don't care what you did in the past. I don't care what you did now. I don't care what you did, bro. As long as you're not a predator, well, molester, the R word, bro. As long as you're not anything criminally cruel, bro. I will talk to you about anything, bro. I'm not going to judge you for your past. I'm not even going to judge you for the present. You want to talk? I'm here to talk, bro. And I'm going to conclude that with the... That's going to conclude the video, bro. I'm here for y'all. Y'all not alone. And usually people... I'll put the the suicide hotline at the end any other hotlines at the end so y'all can if y'all don't want to talk to me you can find professional help to talk to bro i love y'all and i hope y'all be safe out here peace yo <clears throat> it's editor rage again here man how about you enjoy these flicking flick flick flicking blacker freaking bloopers bro enjoy the bloopers mm. Filling it now, Mr. Krabs. Give me that dick, Mr. Krabs.